many a time i made some steps in power query editor and sometimes unfortunately i delete some steps for that it collapsed everything and i didn't know the trick recently i discovered this trick actually so it saves me a lot of time in order to redo all these things i thought to make a video about it so let's dig into it hi i am mohammad adnan and welcome to my channel in this channel we discuss about the power platform like power bi power apps power automate as well as the sql and excel and a lot more to come in future if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications now let's get started this is my power bi file and i come here to power query editor that is data transformation so there is a shortcut in order to zoom this you can just click on control shift and then the plus so we will zoom out these things here in power query editor so this is a cool thing right so i will tell you from the beginning so this is a source actually it is by region that is north south east and west and these are the years here and the number of cells and then i change data type here and then i did the unpivot other columns using the transform and unpivot other columns so did so i got the result here like this so regions and attribute is for year and then the value actually i need it by group by region so this is the requirement i did so unfortunately when i click on this one so it is asking me as a warning are you sure you want to delete this step deleting this step may affect subsequent step which could cause your query to break right so i'm going to cancel now before to that let's take a backup it doesn't mean this is the trick this is not the trick actually so i have this one region by sales here so i'm going to save this now so it is loading me this one region sales by year 2 as a backup plan if something goes wrong okay so coming back here so the region sales by year now what it did unfortunately i just click on this and press down delete it happens if you are working keep on working on the power query editor it happens sometimes you delete some steps and it collapses all the other steps and even there is no option you can undo here right so until this stage if you are then from now on you can save the result whatever you had done unless and until you click on close and apply so once you do this kind of things and you got an error like that no need to worry about anything you just need to close the power query editor and it is asking you for do you want to apply the changes click on not now and it will open into the power bi desktop there you can see the message there are pending changes in your queries that haven't been applied you want to apply changes and discard changes this will keep on asking you even if you want to close the file it will ask you to save and not so don't do this kind of thing to save this file better to click on the discard changes so click on to the discard changes you have changed this table right so it click on discard changes and go back again to the transform data good now you can see your data back to life so whatever you have done the wrong thing you can revert it back here so actually they have not given the undo option in the power query itself instead of that you can close it don't save and then discard the changes if you do so then everything will be fine and back to normal i hope this trick is going to save you a lot of time in your development environment If you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video